Hey, it's Dan here again. It's been a couple weeks since I've done a video, but today we're going to do a little bit of a chicken pot pie. It's real simple. I got four pounds of thighs. I've got two pounds of mixed vegetables. I got some butternut squash. I'm going to use it to replace the potatoes because I'm going a little bit low carb. But since we have to do a crust on it, it's not going to be totally low carb. We got the crescent rolls for the crust. I'll dice up one of those onions, and then I've got some cream of chicken soup. As soon as I get everything ready to go in the pot, I'll be right back, and today we are doing it in the 14-inch Camp Chef Deluxe. All right, I got my 14-inch Dutch oven heating up here, and I'm getting ready to brown the chicken. But one thing I did do is I changed my mind, and... Uh, Thought four pounds of chicken would be a little too much, so I diced up two pounds. So I guess I'll be cooking two pounds of chicken for dinner another day. I did salt and pepper everything to taste. I didn't put a whole lot on there because I figure most people can add salt or pepper later, but I'm going to get this all browned up. I did put a little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan. And once I get this chicken all browned up, I'll be right back with you. Alright, that chicken looks like it's browned up real good. It took approximately 20 minutes for it to brown up. I don't know if you can see through all the steam and everything, but it's looking real good in there. So the first thing I'm going to add is my one whole onion, and I ran it through a food processor uh, because I didn't want any chunks of onion in here. Of course, the spoon doesn't need to go in there, but... I want the onion flavor, but I don't want any big chunks or anything. So I get that all mixed around. Although I do have one big chunk there, but I'll just uh, leave that in there. That'll cut down pretty good. I'm going to add my uh, butternut squash now because that will take a little bit longer to go than the rest of the vegetables. I'm going to cover this back up and then uh, I'll add my vegetables here in just a minute. I'll probably give that about four or five minutes. All right, it's been eh, about four or five minutes. That squash looks like it's done real good. And the reason I put it in first is because I'm kind of wanting it to cook down more than the vegetables. Um, I just put it in to replace the potatoes, just kind of for the hardiness. So I'm going to put my two-pound bag of uh, mixed vegetables, which is uh, carrots, green beans, corn, and peas. Get it mixed through everything, then I'll put the lid on, and I'll probably give this between 5 and 10 minutes, get everything cooked real good before I start making the uh, sauce and stuff, which my sauce is just uh, cream of chicken soup. But now everything's coming together real good. I'll see you guys here in just a few minutes. Alright, it's been about 6 or 7 minutes. The vegetables are looking like they've defrosted pretty good. Since I'm going to be cooking it on the coals to heat the uh, crust and everything, they'll soften up. I'm going to start with the cream of chicken soup. Start mixing that in real good. All 
Oh yeah, that's starting to come together great. I don't know how well you guys can see it on the video, but it is smelling good. It's making itself a real nice sauce. Well, I'm going to let this sit on the camp stove and cover it and let it simmer for just a little bit. I'm going to get my coals started and I'll be right back with you when I'm ready to put the topping on it and get it on the coals. Alright, looks like my coals are about ready, so I'm going to check on this. Oh yeah, that's simmering good. Looks like everything's coming together nicely. Let me give it a good stir. Well, I'm going to lay my bed of coals out. I'm going to put tin down for the bottom. And then I'll cover the top with a, quite a few so I can uh, brown the crust. But I'll be right back. put tin down for the bottom and I'm not sure how many I'm gonna put on the top I'm gonna to make it about a full ring but I got to put my uh, crust on there real quick so let me get this top off set it right there knock that down get my glove out of the way Alright, how I'm going to lay these crescent rolls is I'm just going to try to cover as much as I can. Almost feels like these crescent rolls froze back up on me. Of course, you know, like I said, it's about 23 degrees out here right now, so. But it had been a while since I'd gotten outside cooking and everything. Been close to two weeks. It was around Thanksgiving. And uh, I just couldn't stand it anymore. I had to get out here. And on a good cold day, what sounded better than a chicken pot pie? And don't worry that the center gets real good and thick right there with so many of these ends going on there. It'll be fine. It'll all cook up good. Let me cover a few more of these spots over here. Try to get one on this edge. I'll just put one right across that center there. And I'm going to estimate roughly 45 minutes and that top should be done. If not, no big deal. I have nothing but time today. All I know is this is going to be good when it's done. And uh, if you're one of those that need to know an exact coal count, you can count these as I put them on here. Like I said, I'm... I've never really been one that measures the items I put in a dish. I just kind of do it by eyeball and I do the same thing with my coals. I just know to be able to brown this, I'm going to need a full ring and probably one there, one there, one there, and one there. And then I'll uh, probably, I normally rotate the lid every 15 minutes, but for this I'll probably do it every 10 because uh, I do not want any part of that crust to burn.
And I got plenty of extra coals over there in case I see that I need more coals later. I got plenty to add. But we're going to let this here go for a little while. And hopefully wherever you're at or whatever on a cold day, you can get outside and make you a good chicken pot pie or anything else you like. I mean, you shouldn't let a little bit of weather keep you from going outside. I mean, it's the great outdoors and we love it. I'll be back here in a little bit. All right, it's been approximately an hour. I've been rotating everything about every 10 minutes. I'm gonna sneak a peek. That's all nice. I believe I'm going to call this done after an hour. That looks like a good crust to me. Well, I'm going to get it plated up. I'll get a picture of it when it's plated up. And uh, you all have a great day. Hey, it's Dan here. I'd just like to take a moment to thank everybody who watches my videos and stuff. Um, I really love cooking outside. I love cooking in general. Um, but I've been outside most of my life. I've worked at a marina on a lake near here since 1990. Uh, I normally am cooking on a houseboat uh, or around the lake on the shoreline or whatnot, but with the winter time and stuff, most of my videos have been here on my back porch. But I do appreciate everybody's comments that they put on here. Uh, I'm being honest when I say even if you don't like my video, tell me what I can do better to make it good. I mean, I just kind of fell into this by accident. Um, but I was watching a Bill Gowdy video and he was having a contest giving away a uh, um, camp made Dutch oven and uh, my boy talked me into doing a video entry and uh, we did that and we got to laughing at how many people started viewing it and uh, so I've been putting videos on I think I've put maybe six seven so far on um, hopefully each one's getting a little bit better but you know if you guys like what I'm doing and everything, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, you know, if you don't like what I'm doing, hit the dislike button and tell me what you don't like about it. I mean, the only way I can know if I'm doing something wrong is if someone lets me know. But hopefully you guys are enjoying my videos and from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate you guys watching them, taking time out of your day. And hopefully you guys try some of the recipes I do. I mean, so far, they've all tasted fantastic. Well, you all have a great day.